Okay, y'all, so I'm back to chef up, mix up that cabbage that I have. You want to make sure that your cabbage is like a little crunchy. Don't overly cook it because it goes in the sandwich. So this is why I don't overly cook the cabbage. It's actually really perfect right now. Um, so I am ready to drain this. I don't know if you can see it. Let me bring it down. I'm ready to drain this up really pretty and get this all flowing with the mayonnaise and the salt and the pepper so that's what we're doing next so i'm going to lift you up here okay and i just want to quick show you the meat so good so this is basically what it should look like when it's done okay you should still have all those big nice chunks of pe uh, pieces of that country style rib <laughs> And then um, just make sure the mushrooms are not overly cooked and then you're good. You're good for this sandwich, I promise you. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and let that rock out. Um, I'm also gonna top that because later on, after I drain this a little bit, um, I add the mozzarella cheese and I butter up those buns with some mayonnaise as well. Just a little bit because we're already gonna have mayonnaise in the cabbage. So um, you want to be a little light on that with the bread, or if you you know if you choose not to use mayonnaise and you want to do it just like that, that's that's all good. <laughs> okay, so let me take you back over here. Um, we're gonna go right to where I'm gonna be doing this real quick. Okay, so here we go. And like I said, this is simple. I'm sure a lot of y'all out there already have tried this and done this. Um, you know. But this is, I'm just showing y'all just for the sandwiches, this is what I do, okay? So that's good. All right, so just make sure everything is pretty much drained really good. Um, you actually want to let it cool off a little bit as well. Okay, so that looks pretty good, y'all. That looks amazing. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit it over here so it can go ahead and cool off before I go ahead and um, toss that up as well. I just wanna make sure I have my other bowl here. Okay, I'll just use this one. Yeah, so this is an easy dish to do, y'all. This is really simple, super yummy. It will keep you full all day, I promise you, depending on how much you eat. Like I said, eat in moderation. <laughs> And you'll be fine. <laughs> so, I usually just eat half because that's how juicy they are. And then later on, I'll eat the other half. <laughs> okay, so let's go back over here. Okay, just to make sure. Yeah, that's off. Okay, beautiful. There goes my Kieser buns right there. Italian. I love Italian bread. I love it. One of my favorites for this dish anyway okay so i pretty much you know i just wanted to give you a quick rundown okay again for the country for the ribs you're going to use the country style pork ribs you're going to make sure you slice them long ways to fit into the sandwich just like if you're doing a cheesesteak sandwich the same thing you're just stiffing you're just using a different kind of meat same stuff okay you're going to chop the avocados the cucumbers and the tomatoes are going to be all together that's going to be on the side that I'm going to be adding some on this in the, in the, how they call it, the cacara, <laughs> the, yeah, for the avocado, pretty plating, going to do that next. Um, and then again, you want to use that portobello mushroom, the mozzarella cheese, the mayo, uh, slice them long slices for the portobello mushrooms into the meat. Um, Ital Italian rolls work really good for this sandwich as well. Any bread you prefer is perfectly fine. This is the bread I prefer. You're going to use that garlic squeeze, that marinated Caribbean jerk, two tablespoons of sofrito, one pack of sazon, and a one-fourth cup of dried ginger. So that's pretty much it with this. Make sure that you, uh, skillet, your skillet is uh, pretty hefty if you're going to be cooking, you know, just a skillet... Uh, a skillet pan works best for this kind of meat because, like I said, it takes longer to cook if you use uh, a regular pan. So the skillet works beautiful with this meat. So um, you definitely want to do a skillet pan. 
make sure you add that table uh two tablespoons of that stick butter whichever butter you prefer is perfectly fine and again the cabbage simple which i'm about to show you in a minute boil boil the water throw that cabbage in with some salt and pepper dice that cabbage up nice little dices for the sandwich because you're just going to add in that mayo that pepper and you're good to go and make sure your cabbage is crunchy not soft so don't overly cook it and that's pretty much it with this dish i'm going to be doing my plating in a little bit but however i'm going to toss this up in front of you guys so you can see that how i do the cabbage okay so again you want to make sure it's cool okay it might be a little whatever but it, it's okay just as long as you cool it off you don't want to throw the stuff in when it's you know when you just take it out of the hot boiling water okay so you're gonna go ahead and just add that in there and I love cabbage cabbage is so good y'all especially when it's cooked not when it's raw but when it's cooked to die for I love it all right so we're gonna go ahead and add a like like about two big spoons about two big spoons like that of mayo okay not too big but just big enough okay and that is it for this you just want to sprinkle some salt in there and we drained some of the salt and the pepper that we put in in the beginning so you just want to go ahead and add some more okay but not too much not like the first time and pretty much that's it there you have it this is like your little dip on the side for the sandwich just to make the sandwich more yummier and that's pretty much it y'all beautiful mm-hmm and of course I'm gonna taste that <laughs> and this is what it should look like really good and like I said you really don't need to add mayonnaise on the bread you can do it lightly if you prefer but I do I do lightly for my kids and for my fiance because they, they like a lot of mayonnaise and they don't like too much cabbage so like I said it depends on your family and how they prefer things as well so that's what it is about being a chef you know some things are cooked a certain way, some things are put a certain way, lightly, however the menu goes, right? <laughs> so that's how it is up in my, in, up in my house. <laughs> okay, and I love cabbage, so I don't need mayo on my bread. This is perfect for me. Okay, so that is it. I'm going to cut there. I'm going to do the plating, and I will be showing you everything. I cannot wait so you can see how beautiful it is um, and how super yummy it is. I wish I could shoot a plate right through the camera and have y'all taste this but unfortunately you've got to do this dish and that's the reason why i'm here today so i can show you what i do and so you can go ahead and try and do it yourself and make it your own okay i'll be right back with a part three <laughs>